Former Celtic man slams Christie, saying he shouldn't play again. Former Celtic striker Frank McAvenny has said that the Hoops should stop playing midfielder Ryan Christie after the club's dismal start to the 2021-22 season. The Glasgow club appointed Ainge Postikoglu as their new manager after a disappointing campaign in which they surrendered the league title to rivals Rangers. However, it has not gone to plan thus far for the Australian, as the boys crashed out of the Champions League on Wednesday night as well as losing their opening SPFL fixture to Hearts. Celtic look in deep trouble this season, if the first two weeks of the season are anything to go by. And ex hoop striker McAvenny has not held back in his criticism of the side following their 2-1 defeat to the Jam Tarts on Saturday. The entire back four and the goalkeeper aren't good enough, Ryan Christie is running down his contract and shouldn't play again, and it's obvious odd son Edward wants away as well, he told the Glasgow Times. Unfortunately, up front that just leaves Albion a jetty, who never kicked a ball when he was with West Ham and who has no passion to play for Celtic. You'd have thought a new manager coming in would have kick-started his career, but he's done nothing. Christie has been at Celtic since 2015 and has made nearly 150 appearances for the club. However, the midfielder's contract expires in the winter and the Scottish Giants risk losing him for free in January. Elsewhere, former Arsenal man Perry Groves has claimed that Celtic are a decent League One team. Speaking on TalkSport, Groves said, Ainge Postikoglu knew it was the biggest rebuild Celtic have had for the last 20 years, but they don't have any money. It's the second season on the trot they've gone out in the second qualification round of the Champions League, and they've been beaten by the second best team in Denmark. Does that tell you where the Scottish Premiership is at the moment? At this moment of time, Celtic are a decent League One team. Hull City, Peterborough, and Blackpool got promoted this year and Sunderland came fourth. Celtic wouldn't finish above Sunderland in League One. Celtic are nowhere near winning the title.